Hello and welcome friends. We have started uh, in this video series, we started working on different labs that you should be doing for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All these labs are available under Microsoft Learning on the GitHub. I'll provide you the link at the end of the video. Uh, in this series of video, we started working on Lab 8, Manage Virtual Machines. We have completed uh, the task 1 and 2 in the last two videos. In this video, we'll work on task 3, which is Scale, Compute, and Storage for Azure Virtual Machines. So let's get to the task. Analysts are working on it. So in this task, you will scale compute for Azure Virtual Machines by changing their size and scale with their storage by attaching and configuring their data disk. So in the Azure portal, start and select virtual machines and go to VM0. So I can really search for that one directly. I don't have to uh, look for virtual machines first. I can directly search for the virtual machine name and select that one, okay? On the V0 virtual machine, click size and set the virtual machine size to standard DS1V2. Choose another size if this is not available. Okay, let's see. Let's go in here. Size. So we are in the size now. And we want to set it to DS1 fit 2. And looks like that size is not available. So oh, it says it's available. Standard DS1 V2. Okay, so that's general purpose. I think that's the one that we, we need to use. Yeah, DS1 V2. So that's what I need to use and set it to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to find and see if there is any uh, anything that says standard here. I think standard simply means that uh, you uh, let's come over here yeah I think I'm just gonna go and, and go with this one DS1 VTU and I'll just say resize and let's see if the resize is working or not okay on the virtual machine click on disk and click add data disk so as this is happening I don't think I need to stay in here uh, let's go to the disk. We'll look and watch what's going on with that one. Uh, we'll go to the disk and we'll click add a data disk. On the disk, we're gonna add a data disk. Okay, the resize is successful, successfully resized. So that's good. So we're done with that task. In the name drop down list, click on create disk. In the name drop down list, click on create disk. Okay. So now we're going to configure this new disk with the information that are given over here. So disk name, source type is none, resource group is fine, and then 1024 gigs is the size. Premium SSD is already selected, so we looks like we are all good. Encryption, they didn't specify anything, so just hit create. <coughs> so it's uh, creating disk. And back on this disk bed, uh, click add disk and the name drop down create disk. So we're going to perform uh, another similar function. So let's see. So that disk is created. So we are doing it one more time. Uh, create disk. And this time, the last one, we created a data, data disk 0 and we are creating a data disk 1. And this time, we're going to use a premium SSD. So that's the difference, okay? So that's the data disk. Sorry, the data disk name has to be unique. So this is the... And if this happens, just move your bar uh, over there to bring the window back uh, where you want to be. All right, resource group is fine. Uh, premium SSD, premium no, premium SSD. Both of them are premium SSD, so that's good. So, and I'll just say create. So pretty much we are just creating two different uh, data disk 
for this particular virtual machine and uh, we'll create save once both of them are created so let's see okay so we have got the disk 1 and disk, disk 2 both the premium and 1024 gigs and right now we have to save the settings for the virtual machine so we are done up to this point and here we want to run some parse, parcel scripts so by this time you should know how to go and run the parcel it's you gotta go under the operations and then run command and it will give you a whole bunch of options and you gotta choose the run parcel option from there so let's go back to the VM0 so let's go to operations under operations run command a lot of times you know you can also just search for this run and you you get it that may be faster I do it all the time and the run command uh, window is going to give us a window where we can run some parcel script so this script is most likely going to attach those to disk to this virtual machine okay so I'm just going to hit run um, so this is going to create uh, drive Z that is going to be consisting of the two newly attached disks if you look at the code that we are running it's a new storage pool friendly name storage pool 1 storage pool subsystem friendly name windows storage physical disk get physical disk from the pool then you're creating a virtual disk initializing the disk and you're creating a partition within the disk okay and you're assigning the drive data z note wait for the confirmation that commands is completed successfully so let's go back uh, the script execution is progress we're gonna wait and until it says that yeah everything went well uh, so once that's done uh, we'll go to the other virtual machine so let's just give it a second uh, for the yeah so, uh -oh, so let's see I wanna make sure that our command has run successfully okay operational status okay so that's pretty much all you wanted to confirm so and the size of the disk is not two terabyte because it's combining both of the days so it's, it looks like everything has run properly so I'm happy with that so now I can go to the other virtual machine so which is the VM1 so I can copy and over here I can directly search for that particular resource and right there I'm in there and here from the setting we're gonna go to export template under where is my setting yeah let's see export template <laughs> that's my cheat sheet or, or the quick way to do it so I'm now in the export uh, template view uh, and then click on deploy so if you click on deploy this is what is coming up and on the custom deployment we we're gonna do the edit template so do the edit template and uh, we're down to this uh, step on the edit template plate in the section displaying the content of the template replace the line 30 vm size so here okay so this is where you are not doing it through portal but you're doing through the template so you're just gonna line 30 so line 30 there is your VM size I'm just gonna replace that with the new VM size which is this okay let me make sure that I'm doing it right let's copy this one don't mess up anything just change this much with this okay now I, it looks good uh, this section of the template defines the same as your virtual machine size as the one you specified for the first virtual machine that's good um, then on the disk template blade in the section displaying the content of the template replace line 49 with the following so let's go and find line 49 which is the data disk and then uh, previously there were no data disks so now we need all of that to define two new uh, disks for that so let's get rid of this and now it's line uh, 50 because we added something already so now we have a new defined uh, data disk parameters 
Uh, so this section of the template creates two managed disks and attach them to this virtual machine similar to what we have done uh, in the previous one by running the parser script so click on save so let's save this one and disregard the message just like the previous one we're going to disregard this message right now and we are going to click on I agree and I say I purchase and it's telling me that's gonna take about three minutes or so so I'm gonna pause the video and be back all right I'm back and as you see it probably took about three minutes or so and this deployment is also successful uh, so the last thing that we need to do we're gonna go back to this VM1 blade where now we have deployed two new managed disks using the template we still need to attach this, so we still need to run this parcel command. So let's go back to our VM, go back to the resource group, go to VM1, go to VM1, and go under the operations or just search for the run command. So go to run command, and we want to run the parcel script. So get to the window, paste it and run it and I'm just gonna give it a minute uh, to see what's going on while this is running uh, let's also go to the resource group real quick uh, I went to the virtual machine I just wanted to go to the resource group and uh, the resource group should at least show you all the disks so so VM0 now I, you, you see that we have created those two new disks for VM1 it created all those disks so right now what we're doing with the parcel script, we're attaching those two disks to the VM1 and if that's successful, we can end the lab and we would, would have successfully completed all of the steps um, in under task 3 where we have changed the size and attached data disk to our virtual machine. Okay, no, not 3, sorry here we change the compute uh, and then attach those disks so and in the next video we'll start with the fourth task which is register for the Microsoft insights and this looks like a small task so we might be able to do two tasks in the next video so let's come back over here and make sure that it's successful and right there it is so that's the end of the video my friend hopefully you like the video um, please subscribe share with your friends and good luck with the exam study hard